September 2014. Al Dafra Air Base, United Arab Emirates. Four F-22 pilots from the 27th Fighter Squadron prepped their jets for a mission. We had been in theater as F-22s for several years already. Lieutenant Colonel Dave Williams served in the U.S. Air Force for over 17 years. None of the F-22s had been used in combat up to that point, so the expectation was that we weren't actually going to be used for anything. But then at the very end of our six-month deployment, we got the call that they wanted to use us in Syria. Williams knows that flying into Syrian airspace means taking a dangerous risk. We weren't exactly sure what Syria was going to do when we first crossed their border. One of our concerns was that Syria would actually mistake our entry into their country as uh, an act of war against them. The Syrians have an air force, anti-aircraft guns, and dozens of surface-to-air missiles, all keeping a lookout for intruders in their skies. Because of their robust, integrated air defense systems, stealth became more of a factor. High over Syria, F-22 pilot Lieutenant Colonel Dave Williams and his wingman prepare to drop a bomb on an ISIS compound. To the east, two more F-22s protect the strike force. We weren't 100% sure what the Syrian response was going to be. Our biggest concern was making sure that if Syria did respond, it wouldn't escalate into something where we're now shooting missiles at each other. Williams locks on to the ISIS compound and drops two 1,000-pound JDAM laser-guided bombs. Direct hit. 30 miles away, the strike force quickly follows suit. I was actually distracted from watching my bomb blow up, watching the, the 40 small diameter bombs that the Strike Eagles uh, lobbed at their target area. That was quite a show to watch. The Raptors and the rest of the aircraft quickly returned to safe airspace, undetected and safe from Syrian missiles. Officially, that was the first use of F-22s in combat. We used the F-22s against those targets, one, because of the munitions that we carried. But in addition to that, our stealth capability gave us a lot bigger margin for survivability against the Syrian regime. 